Hi, I'm Patrick Stegall. I'm a criminal attorney. Today I want to talk about the process of getting a felony charge reduced to a misdemeanor. Is this possible? How do you do it? So uh, let's talk about that. If you are charged with a felony offense, uh, you should be very concerned because all criminal charges are serious as a general rule. Felonies are especially serious because of the, the punishment and the long-lasting consequences. So you may be thinking, I've got this felony charge. Can we do something about it? I, I know they're, they're not, they're not going to just dismiss it. Um, well, let me tell you as an attorney, they typically don't just dismiss charges to be nice. Uh, sometimes they are dismissed if there is a, a lack of proof or some something changes in the case. But if you've got uh, a felony charge, and you haven't pled guilty to it yet, or you haven't been convicted of it, haven't gone to trial, you are, you, you've just been charged, you're looking for an attorney, you know this is serious business. You may be thinking, what's the best outcome I can get here? It might be to get that felony broken down to a misdemeanor and go from there. So how do you do that? Well, it, first of all, it's, it may be possible, it may not be possible. A lot of it is going to depend on, uh, one, the charge itself. I can tell you that if you're if you're facing a violent felony charge, something involving a gun or serious injury or sex crime, um, probably not going to be able to get that reduced down to a misdemeanor. But if it's something like a lower level felony, like a like a like a white collar type of crime, a, a fraud, a credit card fraud, theft of property, embezzlement, um, something economic, uh, you, you may be able to. Uh, Sometimes in aggravated assault cases, those are considered violent crimes where there could possibly possibly be serious injury to the person, but sometimes those can be reduced down to misdemeanors. Um, so it depends on the charge itself. Uh, it depends on your situation. If you have if you have a prior conviction, prior felony conviction, it's going to be difficult. If you have no prior record, you're in the best position possible to to get this done. Now, how do you do it exactly? Um, a couple of ways. One would be uh, the hard way, which is to go to trial. Go all the way to trial on your felony charge and be acquitted of the felony, but found guilty of the lesser included misdemeanor. Um, that's one way, and as I said, it's the hard way. You may not want to go through all that. You may be able to, with your attorney, negotiate before trial with the prosecutor to get that get that felony reduced to a misdemeanor. And I just mentioned um, as, as one factor your, your prior record. When I, as a defense lawyer, talk to the prosecutor, I, uh, I know that the prosecutor is going to look at my client's record, see if he or she has a prior record. And if you don't have one, then that's good. That's, that's good news. You, um, like I said, you're in the best position possible to, to possibly get a, get a reduction. Uh, so if you have no, no priors, no convictions, that's, that's good. That's a really big point in your favor. Um, and how it's done, I mean, it's, it's, it's really case by case. Can't make any promises or tell you it, it happens the same way every time. But uh, if it is one of those sort of lower level felonies, a nonviolent type of crime, and you are a first time offender, you know, You've got a good chance of coming out coming out of this okay of getting that felony reduced to a misdemeanor and then possibly working out some kind of probation uh, diversion or non adjudication type deal where after you complete your probation it can be removed from your record and so you're never facing a conviction um, but really it starts with the type of charge you're facing and you personally your background if you are employed, obviously that is a big plus in your favor. Um, if you have no prior record, that is a huge plus in your favor. Your circumstances, your background, all those things need to be looked into. So there are certain factors that, that need to be investigated. And what I do, um, again, before trial, uh, talk to the prosecutor, negotiate, and put together a plan uh, to say, this is how we can we can we can get this felony reduced to a misdemeanor. What I call treating it like a misdemeanor. Don't ruin this person's life. This is a first-time offender with you know a job and a family and education. Let's not ruin their life, but let's let's 
put them on probation, get this reduced, uh, turn it into a misdemeanor, and give them the chance to keep it off their record. So that is not a guarantee in every case, but uh, some of those factors I mentioned are things that I want to look into, and if possible, I may be able to help you with that in your case. So uh, that's kind of how it works. Um, if you have any questions about that, give me a call. Again, I'm Patrick Stegall, and thanks for watching.